Hello here, this is Pastor Victor, and I welcome you to Grace Master Class, where we share the grace of God and uh, Jesus and His finished work and His power and His principles that makes for victorious living. In today's teaching, I want to share with you five blessings of the man that fears God. Five blessings of the man that fears God. So we are going to look at the fear of God. The fear of God is a powerful ingredient for successful living. And if you lack the fear of God as a Christian, as a believer, the sure ways that you're going to crash and burn, I mean, you're going to sin against God. That's the truth. And you're going to do terrible things in life. The reason most Christians do terrible things is because they don't fear God. Most believers have no fear of God in their hearts. I'm not talking about the fear of God, I'm talking about being afraid of God and running away from Him. I'm talking about having godly reverence. That means having high regard, respect, and honor for God, to His Word. So you do what God's Word tells you. You don't go above, you don't go below. You just do what you are told. And you tremble at the Word of God. That's what it means to fear God. Amen. So we're going to look at five blessings of the man who fears God. Not who just go to church, the man who fears God. So we look at a scripture in Psalm 25, verse 12 to 14. I read, What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he shall show them his covenant. So these are, in this scripture, are five blessings of the man that fears God. So number one, he said that God will teach him in the way that he shall choose. So the man who fears God, God will teach him. That means instruct him on, in the way that he should go. This is one of the most powerful strategies of success in life, in the kingdom of God. It's when God instructs a man. For instance, God told Moses, he said, stretch forth your rod over the sea and divide it. That was an instruction. And by that instruction, God paved the way for them to walk through the Red Sea and escape the enemies that were coming up against them and the enemies were rather buried in the sea. So that instruction, living by divine instruction, is one of the most powerful keys in the Bible. For instance, when Joshua came to Jericho, God said, march around Jericho seven times. On the seventh day, go seven times. Just give a shot and the wall come down. By that instruction, Jericho came down. So if you want to enjoy such divine instruction, because I tell the truth that if you don't live by divine instructions, your life will be ordinary. You just do ordinary things. So living by divine instruction is important. And the Bible says the way to activate it is to fear God. So when you fear God, the Bible says He will teach you in the way you should go. There's a way you're supposed to go concerning your marriage, your business, your ministry, your career. You can't just be living by trial and error. And uh, you need divine guidance, and it comes by fearing God. Number two blessing of fearing God is that it says, His soul shall dwell at ease. His soul shall dwell at ease. Hallelujah. Life can be that easy. And I look a shocking statement to most people, but that's the truth. Life is easy if you know what to do. If you're in a math class and they give you a mathematical equation, one of the quadratic equation, and they ask you to solve. If you don't know, it is difficult. Those who know it, they won't blink their eye. Within seconds, they finish solving it. And you are still complaining is difficult, but somebody it's not difficult for the person. So it is what you know, what is the revelation available to you, the light you have that you walk with, that will determine how light you come. If you don't have light, you are in a dark place, you group and fall, and you say everything is dark, everything is difficult. But the man who has light will come easily walking around and do anything that he wants to do. So you need light. And the Bible says he will instruct you. That instruction will cause life to be at ease, to be at ease. Life becomes that easy for you. So life can be that easy. And that comes as a result when God instructs you and because you fear Him. There's grace for ease. You know, life does not have to be a struggle. I say it all the time. If you're struggling, something is wrong. You have to go to God and find out how to come out of that struggle. It doesn't have to be a struggle. There will be challenges by you overcome by the grace of God and by the power of God. Hallelujah. Number three, blessing of the man who fears God. Do you fear God? The man who fear God said, his seed shall inherit the earth. I love this one, his seed. I have three kids, and I want them to inherit this earth. That means have power over this earth. And that was, if I want them to do that, I have to fear God. There's a blessing for the man who fears God. I'm telling you, there's a blessing for the man who fears God. David said, 
I'm young and I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, he seed begging bread. David lets know that there's a blessing for the man who serves God. The righteous man, the man who follows after God's word. They say his seed shall not beg bread. And there's a place for them. There's an inheritance for them. They will inherit the earth. You want your children, your seed, your generation to be blessed? You got to fear God. A man named Jonathan Edwards lived in his 16th century, 17th century, one of them. And this man was a godly man, fear God, a powerful preacher of the gospel. And a survey was done about his generations. I mean, several of his generations became preachers, even to the third and fourth. Some became governors, senators, leaders, lawyers, president of colleges, and all of that. Because Jonathan Edwards feared God. They compared him to another man whom didn't fear God. And all his generation that produced are prostitutes, gangsters, rapists, all kinds of terrible people that man produced because he had no fear of God. Amen. Fear of God will cause your children to be blessed. If you want kids to be blessed, learn to fear God. Number four blessing of the man that fear God is that he says he will, the secret of the Lord is with them. That means he will have access to the secret of the Lord. He said, the secret of the Lord is in them that fear him. If you fear God, he said, the secret of the Lord shall be with you. You get to know God's secrets, God's mind. God will talk to you, he will instruct you, tell you what to do. Bible said, a man named Job was a man who was the greatest man in the East. The Bible let us know that the descriptions of this man given, his profile in one of his things that is listed in his profile, as I said, Job feared God and achieved evil. If you fear God, you run away from evil. You flee evil, you flee all kinds of wickedness, you know, lust, after money, after all kinds of things in this world, ungodly lifestyle, you run away from them. You run away from robbery, stealing, and you know, cheating, you know, being, doing, you know, corner corner things and all of that. Job feared God. And because of that, in Job 29, it said, the secret of God was upon my tabernacle. He said, by his light, I walk through darkness. Hallelujah. No wonder Job was the greatest man there is because he feared God and God's secret was upon him. If you fear God, God will show you his secret. Abraham was a man that feared God. When God wanted to destroy Sodom, he said, shall I hide what I'm going to do from Abraham? God revealed his secret.